going to talk about indirect proof. There is a simple and easy formula for an indirect proof that it, it's only three steps. If you follow those three steps, this will be an easy section for you guys. So an indirect proof is when we assume the opposite, and opposite is circled, of what we want to prove and look for a contradiction. When the, the symbol for contradiction is a double arrow facing each other. So if we look at example one, we're going to suppose we want to prove the measure of angle A is greater than the measure of angle B. What are two cases you could assume for an indirect proof? The first case is the measure of angle A is smaller than the measure of angle B, or uh, or the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle B. Sorry. <laughs> both the same thing. So the opposite of measure of angle A greater than measure of angle B is either they're equal or B is bigger than A. Okay. So we're going to use an indirect proof to prove that triangle ABC does not have more than one obtuse angle. And just to remind us, an obtuse angle is more than 90 degrees. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to assume that triangle ABC has two obtuse angles. So that step number one is to Assume the opposite. Now we're going to follow logic through to our contradiction. Then triangle ABC has its interior angles adding to more than 180. Interior angles adding to more than 180 violates the triangle sun theorem, and it's impossible. There's your contradiction. Therefore, you can only have one of two angle or less than that. Sample number three. We're going to use an indirect proof to prove the three angles of a scalene triangle ABC have different measures. So the opposite of three angles having three different measures is we're going to assume that scaling triangle ABC has two angles with the same measure. So step number one, assume the opposite of what you're trying to prove. Step number two, use that to logically come to a contradiction. If two sides are the same, then you have an isosceles triangle. You cannot be an isosceles triangle in a scalene triangle. That is your contradiction. What? You cannot be an isosceles triangle and a scalene triangle. That's a contradiction. So therefore, a scalene triangle must have three different angles. Hold on. Hold on. All right, so for the homework, number 17, we want to write an indirect proof. So if we are given that angle one is not equal, not congruent to angle two, we want to prove that line L is not parallel to line P. 
So the first thing we're going to assume is that the lines are parallel. It's opposite of what we're trying to prove. In the figure, what type of angle pair do we have? Angle one and angle two are corresponding angles. And that is all the information you need for number 17. For number 25, we're going to show that an obtuse triangle cannot contain a right angle. So the first thing we're going to assume is that obtuse angle, obtuse triangle ABC has a right angle. Second step, if you have a right angle of 90 degrees and an obtuse angle that is larger than 90 degrees, then here's your contradiction. When you add 90 degrees to your obtuse angle, you get more than 180 degrees. That's a contradiction. So since angles in a triangle cannot add to more than 180, you cannot have a right angle in an obtuse triangle. 